What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD, Disciples of Doom. And today's video is going to be your weekly vendor reset and must buys for September 7th, 2021. And more importantly, I'm just checking in on you. I hope everyone had a great Labor Day weekend. And yeah, let's get into this weekly vendor reset. Starting off at the base of ops in Washington, D.C. Here we go. Now, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. But all right, starting off at the base of ops, we have the Burnout. This is the named FAMAS with Perfectly on Empty. Also comes with Accuracy. Then we have an MP5N with Rate of Fire and Close and Personal. MK16 with Stability and Close and Personal. And then a military M9 with finisher and damage to targets out of cover. Now to the gear items. We have a Fenris backpack with crit damage, skill damage, and versatile. Interesting. And then we have a Araldi Holdings chest piece with glass cannon and crit damage, skill damage. Um, interesting. As well. Hmm. Enjoy your purchase, eh? I look at those. Now, as far as the mods, we have a crit damage 9.9, .9, drone scan range 8.2, turret skill haste 6.1, and then a sticky bomb blast radius of 4.9. So things to look at at the first base of ops vendor, I would say both of these uh, gear items the versatile with crit damage easily just re-roll the skill damage off for crit chance and this could be a godly backpack and then also the araldi holdings chest piece with crit damage again you could roll off skill damage for crit chance or you can make this into like a skill build hybrid and utilize the crit damage and skill damage with that glass cannon and then remember if you roll if you have three araldi holdings on at the same time you get that five percent damage to settled. armor but all right let's move on to the clan vendor do, do, do. and then don't forget tomorrow is our cassie mendoza vendor reset and must buys and today i'm also going to do a special manic mondays episode um on a tuesday just because yesterday was a holiday all right clan vendor here we go Starting off with the test subject. This is the named PDR with perfectly in sync. Also comes with mag size. Then we have a rigor pair of knee pads with skill damage. That's good. You want skill damage on your rigor, so that's good. Then we have negotiator's dilemma holster with headshot damage. And then a hardwired backpack with repair skills. Moving on to the high ends, we have a KSG shotgun with close and personal and max shotgun damage. This is a good must buy because all you have to do is re-roll the mag size off for damage to targets out of cover and then optimize the damage to armor, you are good to go. Killing a target within 7 meters grants you that 30% weapon damage and using a KSG shotgun being within 7 meters is pretty much the sweet spot for a shotgun. All right, next up we have a model 700 with future perfect and mag size, but nearly max marksman rifle damage. That's that's nice. Uh, ACR SS with max damage to targets out of cover and vindictive. Then we have a wyvern backpack with composure, skill haste, and hazard protection. Infantry MG5 with measured and headshot damage. A Bellstone Armory backpack with shock and all, armor region, and crit chance. Now this is a good backpack. So having the armor region and crit chance on here, I would re-roll the shock and all off for adrenaline rush. And then you could have a uh, armor region crit build with adrenaline rush and uh, perfect intimidate. That that could be pretty nice. I'll, keep, I'll hold on to that. Then we have a Overlord Mask with crit damage and skill damage. Now finishing off with the mods, we have a crit damage of 10.6, crit 
crit damage of 10.8. What? All right, look at this. So the 10.6 crit damage mod is 45.30 for the credits, right? Then if you pay four more credits, you get a 10.8. Interesting. So for four credits, you get 0.2%, apparently. Next up, we have a disorient resistance of 9.0, and then a firefly damage of 6.5. Now, must buys or things to look for at your clan vendor. This KSG shotgun is pretty good. All you have to do is reroll that mag size off for damage targets out of cover. And then this Bellstone Armory backpack is pretty good as well. With the armor region and crit, just reroll the shock and awe off for like say adrenaline rush and you are good Appreciate to go. Alright, now that is it for the base of ops. We're gonna go west and make our way back east. Starting off with the campus settlement. Now don't forget everyone, support the channel by hitting that thumbs up. If you are new, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think. Alright, now we are at the campus settlement. Everyone thinks that this vendor is related to Cassie Mendoza. They pretty much look like twins. Alright, here we go. Campus settlement. Alright. So at the top we have the Commando. This is the named SVD with Perfectly Naked. Also comes with Accuracy. Then we have a Model 700 with Perpetuation and Health Damage. M249 with Crit Damage and Reformation. A Walker Harris Mask with Crit Chance and Health. And then finally a Raldi Holdings Holster with Max Repair Skills and Health. Now finishing off with the mods, skill haste 10.1, uh, chem launcher 4.2 damage, hive reviver armor repair of 8.2, pulse health 14.5, and then trap duration of 5.9. Uh, there was nothing at the campus settlement. Moving on. That was horrible. Not one of those things looked good. Alright, so now we're going to go to our Dark Zone vendors, starting off at the west. West side! West! Here we go. Now remember, all of the items at these DZ vendors require DZ resources. Here Anything we go. Alright, so starting with your DZ West vendor, we have the Rock and Roll Shotgun. This is the named ACS-12 with Perfectly Extra. This is similar to the uh, Showstopper shotgun in the first Division game. Now this is a PvP exclusive, so you can only get this from the DZ, Conflict, or Named Item Caches. So if you don't have the Rock and Roll, definitely pick it up now. It is 152 DZ resources. Next, we have a custom M870 with Optimist and Mag Size. Followed by a UCS uh, USC 45 ACP with swap speed and strain. Rigor gloves with crit damage. Future initiative knee pads with skill haste. Douglas and Harding gloves with status effects and armor region. And a pair of Golden Gear knee pads with hazard protection and weapon handling. That's a pretty decent armor roll. So what I would say is if you were to buy these knee pads right here, I would reroll the weapon handling off for either say crit or armor region. And you could definitely, you know, do like an armor region hazard or like a hazard crit, you know, something like that. All right, moving on with the mods. Ensnare resistance, 8.2. Seeker mine radius, 4.2. Shield Holstered Region 4.1, Firefly Damage 6.1, and a Decoy Duration of 6.0. Now must buys or things to look at from the DZ West Vendor, the Rock and Roll Shotgun, and Golan Knee Pads. Alright, next DZ Vendor is down south. Fast travel to the main entrance, let's go! Alright, there we go. 
and DZ you South. Want it. I got it. Come, come see me. Here we go. Looking to make a deal? All right, another PVP exclusive. That's two Dark Zones in a row. This is a good reset. So this is the Rail Splitter. This is the named uh, CTAR assault rifle with perfectly accurate. Now this is another PVP exclusive item. So you can only get this item from the DZ, conflict caches, or a named item cache. So right here you can pick one up without having to do much. All you need is 152 DZ resources. So get it while you can. Next up we have a police UMP 45 with headshot damage and future perfect. Followed by a custom P416 with damage to armor and sadist. And then a officer's M9A1 with reformation and headshot damage. Go through the gear items. Striker backpack with repair skills. Then we have a tip of the spear chest piece with max armor regen. Badger tough backpack with armor regen, explosive resistance, and clutch. Um, and then Araldi Holdings chest piece with crit damage, armor region, and focus. Now finishing off with the mods, we have a headshot damage 7.6, drone duration 6.3, turret damage 4.1, and then a sticky bomb blast radius of 5.0. Um, DZ South, anything to look for? I would say the rail splitter if you don't have one already. I appreciate your and that's about it. All right, let's move on to DZ East. And remember, don't go to the main entrance, go to the alpha checkpoint. It might transfer you to a different dark zone lobby, but it doesn't matter. You're just exiting the dark zone and going straight to the vendor. That's it, exit checkpoint, and here's the vendor. All right, so DZ East, here we go. Starting off with the Night Watcher mask. This is the named Gilligard mask with 100% scanner pulse haste. Now it also comes with crit hit damage, so that's a pretty good mask. Now moving on, we have a paratrooper SVD with reload speed and vindictive. Military M60 with mag size and eyeless. Ooh, nice. This is a must buy in my book. So this is a Foundry Bulwark mask with max armor. So you can re-roll that other attribute for whatever you want and it's automatically a god roll. This is a must buy Foundry Bulwark mask at DZ East. Then we have a ongoing directive holster with status effects. Hana U mask with skill damage and crit chance. Araldi Holdings Holster with Skill Damage and Skill Haste. Interesting. That's a pretty good one because then you could reroll the weapon damage off for a skill tier and then get three of those Araldi for the damage to armor. Ah, uh, that could work. Nice. Then we have the mods. Repair Skills 16.1. Cam Launcher Duration 4.1. Hive Stem Efficiency, 8.6. Pulse Cone Size, 6.3. And Trap Duration, 4.1. Now, DZ East, things to look for, or must buys. You have the Night Watcher Mask, good mask. You have the Foundry Bulwark Mask, another great mask. And then you have the Araldi Holdings Holster that you can make for a pretty nice skill build. Detected. All right, Go moving on hostiles. to our last stop in Washington, D.C., and that is the Theater Settlement. And then we will make our way to New York, and we should be done. Hopefully I've done this one fast enough. We'll see. There's a lot of vendors we have to go through. All right, so here we go. Theater Settlement see. vendor. And starting at the top, we have the Calibre. This is the named shotgun with perfect jazz hands. Also comes with crit damage. Then we have a tactical SESG 12 with in sync and health damage. Urban MDR with headshot damage and rifleman. 
Then we have a pair of Providence Defense Gloves with Headshot Damage Hazard. And then Murakami Industries Knee Pads with Explosive Resistance and Health. Now finishing off with the mods. Ensnare Resistance 8.3. Seeker Mind Damage 4.3. Shield Holstered Region 4.2, Firefly Skill Haste 5.7, and then finally Decoy Duration of 6.0. Now for the theater, any must buys or things to look for? Uh, uh, right. right. That is it for Washington DC, let's go to New York City. Now remember there are only two remaining vendors in New York. We have Marco who is at the top of the escalator and then we have Roy Benitez outside. All right, so as soon as you spawn in, you go up the escalator. And Marco is right here. Okay. Agent, you looking to trade? Starting at the top, we have the Black Market T821 with mag size and close and personal. Then we have a stoner LMG with damaged armor overwhelm. Uh, okay, so if you like this LMG, and that's a big if because this is one of my least favorite guns in the game, but if you liked this LMG, this is a good one to pick up because it comes with the damage to armor and the damage to targets at a cover. So you could re-roll that talent anything. for anything you want, whether it be measured, it? frenzy, ranger, optimist, you name it, um, you could roll it on here and potentially make it a nice god rolled LMG. But the problem is, is the stoner is one of the worst weapons in the game. I don't know, it just shoots way too slow and the mag size is way too big for it to be, you know, anything good. I'll pick one up just to see what I can do with it damage wise, but I don't know. It, it, like I said, it's one of the least favorite weapons in the game. Moving on with the LVOAC with Ignited and Crit Chance. And a Snub Nosed with Damage to Armor and Perpetuation. Now the gear items. We have a China Light Chest Piece with Explosive Resistance, Hazard, and Gunslinger. Providence Defense Knee Pads with Armor Region and Crit Damage. That's pretty good if you want to do like a Crit Armor Region kind of hybrid kind of deal. That's pretty good. And then a Araldi Holdings Holster with crit damage and health. Now again, you could run three pieces of Araldi Holdings for the damage to armor. So you could easily just reroll the health off of this holster for crit chance and have a all red Araldi Holdings Holster for one of those max damage to armor builds. Now moving on with the mods. Blind Death Resistance 8.5. Repair Skills 15.8, Drone Scan Range 8.1, Cam Launcher Burn Strength 6.4, and Trap Duration 5.7. Any must buys or things to look at from Marco? Uh, I mean the Stoner LMG, but that's only if you like it, and the Provenance Defense, only if you want to do like a crit armor region kind of hybrid. And then the three piece Araldi for a max damaged armor build. That's a really niche build or niche build. I don't know how you say it. But um, I don't know if a lot of people are looking for that. But alright, before we go to Roy Benitez, we have to pet the dog. This n neglected dog. He's had the same bowl of food and no water. He's got no water in his dish for years. This dog hasn't been growing. He's still a puppy. Come on. At least get the puppy to grow up with us, right? Alright. And Roy Benitez, our last vendor of the video. Can I help you, Agent? Starting at the top, we have a tactical AUG with reload speed and eyeless. Followed by a stoner LMG with crit chance and overwhelm. Super 90 with max shotgun damage, crit damage, and perpetuation. And then a PX4 Storm Type T with crit chance and spike. Now the gear items. Murakami Industries backpack with galvanize, hazard, and crit damage. 
Badger Tough Knee Pads with Armor Region and Repair Skills. And then Wyvern Wear Mask with Skill Haste and Explosive Resistance. Now moving on to the mods. Skill Duration, 8.4. Repair Skills, 15.8. Seeker Mind Damage, 4.3. Pulse Cone Size, 6.4. And Trap Duration, 5.9. So must buys are things to look at from Roy Benitez. I'm going to say no. Thanks. But all right. There you have it. That is your weekly vendor reset and must buys for today, September 7th. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like, support the channel by subscribing, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Now, we did have quite a few PvP exclusives and a really nice foundry mask during all of these vendors. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys are going to buy. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. And yeah, see you guys. Peace.